Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to import a Stata file or SAS file or SPSS file onto our session. Oftentimes, we get data in different other file formats, not necessarily in spreadsheet format. So, how do we import uh, this uh, non spreadsheet format data such as uh, Stata file or SAS file or SPSS files? Well, we'll be needing the package foreign. So first thing to do is to install this package. I've already installed this. So you can use installed packages and then uh, you know, just install this package foreign. And then uh, call this library. Okay. And then we can use some of these uh, features of this library to import uh, SPSS, SAS and Stata files. Okay. The first thing that we'll uh, import is uh, is a SPSS file. We are directly importing from uh, uh, this particular website from the Princeton website. They have a Stata file which is simply uh, importing from there. So the way we do is read.spss. So you can use this syntax read.spss, and then it's going to you know import it for you. Okay, there are other options uh, like whether you have missing values what values to be you know what's going to be the labels and and so on so all these options are available you can always go to the pran and see what options are available for read.spss uh, you have the details over there okay so let's run this and uh, so here we are so we've got uh, the spss file and now uh, the data is in in R. Let's see how the data looks like. So this is how the data looks like. All right. So that's the way we import SPSS file uh, onto our sessions. We can also export uh, you know data uh, in R to SPSS files. Okay. How do we do that? We do we use write dot foreign function. So this particular module will uh, export the R data from R to SPSS file. Okay, and we need to specify what to. It's prop, uh, you know if you define your work uh, working directory, it's going to save it there. Okay, uh, make sure the extension uh, the file extension is SPSS and so on. So this is how you you export. Okay, write dot foreign. So uh, package you need to specify SPSS if it is SPSS file that you want. Okay, then we'll see how to import from Stata. Syntax remains same except the fact that instead of read dot SPSS, we're going to use read dot DTA. Uh, we also going to uh, import uh, a Stata file from Princeton website. Uh, there are options that you can use such as uh, labels, uh, missing values, whether you are missing values, how to deal with that and so on. Uh, we directly import from there. Uh, okay, so this already this is there in the foreign uh, package. Okay, so we have already installed it. The session, uh, alright. Uh, similarly, we can also export this data data. Sorry, the R data to Stata uh, file. The way you do it is write dot DTA. Okay, so read dot DTA imports the data. Write dot DTA will export the data. Okay, finally we'll see how to import SAS files. Okay, for SAS file it's not very straightforward. We need to install another package called install dot package HMIC uh, ISC. So HMISC is what we will be needing uh, to import uh, and to import uh, SAS files. We have already uh, installed this package. It takes some time, so I have already installed it. So uh, the way we import is SAS uh, export dot get, and then we provide the link where you know it did not be uh, a website link. It could be also from your folder, right? So the data could be in one of your local folders. So simply mention uh, the path. It's going to do it. All right. So let's run this. So now we have 
the SAS data uh, in our session. So this is this is the data we have just imported uh, to R from, and, and the file initially was in SAS. Similarly, you can also export uh, the uh, R data to SAS files. The way you do it is write dot foreign. The same uh, that we had used for SPSS as well. Just that for in the in the place of package, you just mention SAS instead of SPSS. So that's the way you can use uh, use this you know foreign package and HMISC package to import um, and export SAS data and SPSS files.